Hey, what's up everybody? Hope you're having a good day and staying safe out there. We have another collaboration tutorial between me and my friend Alessandro Boncio from Render King today. And he came up with a great technique using field forces to have this growing on tendril-like animation. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. All right, first thing we're gonna do is uh, add an emitter. We can hold down Shift and C and then type in emitter and then hit enter. The other thing we're gonna add is a volume builder and that's under this icon right here in R21, Volume Builder. And we're also gonna add one of these fields here and we're gonna add a random field. So we're gonna take the random field and drop it inside the Volume Builder and you can see that now we have the start of our volume here. If we click on this Volume Builder, we have the volume type which is Signed Distance Field and that's pretty typical if you're modeling using volumes. But we actually wanna change this to Vector and if we click Vector, you'll see that we have all these little lines here. And we want these particles to be hitting all of these lines and bouncing around. And the way we're gonna do that is by adding a field force. So we can go to simulate forces and field force. So we need to drag our volume builder into the slot right here. And once you let go, you can choose between point object or volume object. And we're gonna select volume object. All right, so let's hit play and see if anything's happening yet. It's still not affecting it. That's because we have to take the add to velocity and switch that to change direction and then it's gonna change the direction of those particles as it hits these different vectors. So you can see that they're pinging around all over the place now, sort of like a light ray bouncing on a surface and then it'll bounce up until it hits another surface and just ping around. And you can see that eventually they will escape this field. All right, so we want the field to be bigger so that these particles stay inside of it. So we'll go to our volume builder and the random field and under scale, let's make this a thousand. So our field is much bigger and it's pretty dense, so we can take the voxel size and increase that so that these lines are a little bit bigger, just maybe uh, 35 or so. All right, now if we hit play, you can see that uh, it's still pretty jittery and crazy, but we're getting a little bit closer. So let's turn off the volume builder from our view quick. You can see that they're very jittery, so we need to smooth this out. And we're gonna do that with a vector smooth. So under the volume builder, we have these options here for all these different vectors and we're gonna add smooth. And if we do that and turn on our volume builder, you can see that this vector smooth is taking those lines and kind of smoothing and sweeping them around. So now if we hit play, all these particles are going to be streaming a little bit more of a kind of a smooth arc here. All right, so at this point, we're going to add a tracer. So click on the emitter and then go to this drop down and add a tracer. And now if we hit play, you can see that we're tracing all these different particles. All right, we want these to have more of a tight curling effect and we can do that with another one of these vectors here. Let's turn on the volume builder and go to these vector options. And the bottom one is called vector curl, which is gonna add a really nice curling algorithm. You can see that it's changed the vector. It's going to kind of push these particles in curling patterns. So if we turn that off and hit play, we can see what's going on. And it looks like they're very jittery in the beginning. That's because our voxel size needs to be tweaked here. So let's go to our vector curl the voxel size and we'll change that to five. Let's see what that looks like. Okay, so you can see that we're starting to get that nice curling pattern and we're getting a lot closer. Now at this point, I'd like to add a bunch more uh, particles from our emitter. So we'll kick that up to like 100. Let's also slow these down a little bit, maybe slow them down to 100, add a little bit of variation and see what that looks like. All right, so we're looking pretty good. Uh, but the problem that I see is uh, a lot of these lines are not very smooth. They're a little bit jagged. And uh, we can actually address that inside of the volume builder. Under that vector smooth, we have some options for the smoothing. So right now it's set to 100% strength, but we can go to the iterations to kind of make it a little bit smoother. If we kick that up to two, it's going to give you just a little bit of a cleaner result. So we'll hit play and see what that looks like. And there you go. Now we're getting that really nice kind of smoothed out look like tendrils growing on. Maybe uh, some yarn, it could be more of a medical thing with veins or something like that, maybe roots. But you can see the power of these field forces and uh, how quickly we're able to generate some really intricate looking results. Hope you guys learned something new. And speaking of Alessandro, I teamed up with him to create Octane Texture Pack 4 Contemporary Design, which has 101 incredibly detailed textures for Octane Render. You're in this business to be creative, so you can leave the technical work and the node trees to us and you can just drag and drop, iterate, and deliver photo reel results quickly. Learn more at thepixelab.net, and thank you for supporting what we're doing. Ciao.